What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, Meet the Teats. My name is Melissa. <laughs> Melissa you know, I'm sorry, I forgot how to do this. Okay. What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, Meet the Teats. My name is Melissa. And of course, I'm Chris T. And today, we are officially back. <laughs> we apologize to you guys for taking a short break mm -hmm. for the month of September. Mm -hmm. We haven't put out any content. And so for those of you who have, who have been checking for our content, we, we took a little break. We yeah. took a little break to just, a break. just, you know, kind of enjoy the ending of summer and just, we want to give fresh content to you guys to close out the rest of this year of 2021. So we wanted to let you guys know that we are officially yes. back <laughs> and we're going to close out with a lot of good content. Um, Melissa is going to do a lot of great things. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of great things. So we just want y'all to be sure that you are checking out for our new content that's coming about for the rest of this year. Yeah, and make sure you subscribe to our channel and your bell is on so you don't miss any of our uploads, right? Yeah. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to find a church home in Dallas, Texas. If you are looking to move to Dallas, you already know that, you know, we live in this Bible Belt is what they call it, yeah. where there are like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of churches in the Dallas area, in Texas, period. Yeah. You know, uh, all types of church churches. And we want to talk a little bit about our journey and how we have been finding looking for a church home and we'll give you some tips on how to find your church home in Dallas, Texas. Melissa and I are both from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yes. Uh, we relocated to Dallas, Texas about three years ago mm -hmm. and it seems as if we've been trying to find a church home <laughs> yeah. for the past three, three years. years. It's been a long so, time. So it's been a journey. Yes. So you know, we when we first initially moved, when we, when we were back home, uh, we served in our church. Mm -hmm. And shout out to our church family back home yes. in Milwaukee. Um, we served in our church and we, we relocated. And so in doing in, in doing so, we've been trying to find this church home. Mm -hmm. uh, we visited several churches a in lot the natural of place. Yes. And, uh, yeah. It just and it just seemed like you know once we actually got suited and comfortable and linked up with an actual life group and everything the pandemic happened mm -hmm. so when the pandemic happened of course everything is shut down we found ourselves watching church online yeah so we thought we had found a church that was like a perfect fit for us but we realized that it just did not work out so and it wasn't nothing that the church did or that mm. we've done it's just that it just didn't work out yeah. so we were back on the hunt again so we've been going to this one particular church and we really like it you mm. know and honestly it's been around the corner of our house yeah. this whole time and we've been passing it day after day after day and just realized like you know what we should give them a try. And we're so glad that we did because we are really enjoying ourselves at this church. And it's not like this church is something new. <laughs> we've known about this church yeah. for quite some time. Even before we moved to Texas, we've yeah. known about this church ourselves and to a new church home, things like that. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to, you know, check around. See check what, around, check, shop check around. To see what the Metro Place have to offer. Yeah. So here are our tips to how to find a church home, you guys. Um, and. I want you to take these tips as like a grain of salt, like take it or leave it, you know? And honestly, finding a church home is kind of like sensitive. It's kind of like really personal. Mm -hmm. So this is just our tips, our experience, you know, take it and take it how you want, yeah. you know? Um, but just know this is our opinion and our experience. Yeah. You want to make sure that there is sound teaching. Yeah. You know, we want to make sure that the word is on point, you know? Yeah. And it's, you know, there are a lot of people that can preach. Like, yeah. you can preach a tail off. But we were looking even beyond that. Like, mm -hmm. what is the doctrine? Like, what do you guys believe at this church? A lot of Christian churches say they can be Christian and they believe in God. But, like, what is the biblical, like doctrine theology foundation and 
that was big for us. Like that was number one, that was key. You know, if the theology was kind of rocky or if it was like, you know, kind of sketch, we was like, nah, we, yeah. we not going for it. Yeah. So I guess like our number one tip is to, one, make sure you know what you believe in, you yeah. know, before you go searching and looking, you know, cause you want to align with the church that believes the same thing you believe. You want to think about what are you trying to gain from this church home? You know, what are you looking for in the church home? How can you uh, provide your services to this church home? How can you serve in the church, you know? Yeah, I remember when, this was like years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've told you this, babe. This was years ago and um, I had just left my childhood church. And um, at that time, I just needed to go to another church just to like sit and just like, listen and just like get fed you just know soak it all in. yeah kind of like soak it all in mm -hmm. and that was the season i was in i wasn't in a season where i needed to serve i wasn't in a season where i needed to sing on praise and worship i wasn't in a season where i could really do anything at that moment i just needed to sit and just like be built back up again yeah. so when we say like Think about or know what you can get out of the surf, the church. Like you have to know what season you're in. Yeah. You know, like if you're in a season of serving, like you want to serve, you want to go out and do this and do that and do this in the church and do that in the church, but the church doesn't offer any of those things, that may not be a good fit for you. Fit for you. You know. Yeah. Or if you're in a time where you need to sit and listen and just soak it all in and just get built up spiritually again, but you don't really connect with the preaching, yeah. then maybe that's not the place for you. Yeah, yeah it's a back that, um, I know especially when I came back into Christ and tried to find a new church home back in Milwaukee, um, it was definitely one of those, one of the, it, it was a season thing. I had to find mm -hmm. myself in a season um, and I was just trying to figure out, you know, what's the best fit for me? Mm -hmm. um, what does this church have to offer as far as like uh, leadership, mm -hmm. as far as like, um, like, like male, like men, like men groups, you know, yeah, you know, just right. trying to That's find important. like, I'm just trying to, just trying to support and trying to piece myself back together mm -hmm. and learn more as a man. And a new man in Christ. Yeah. You know, so and that's, you know, that was one of the key things, especially for my guys out there who are uh, just now coming back into Christ and trying to figure out the best route, <laughs> the best route to take in this process. Yeah. Because it's definitely a process. And that's important. Like, gr like different groups, like women's Bible study, mm -hmm. men's Bible study, uh, small groups, things like that, like life groups. Those things are important to go to and to be a part of so that you can build yourself up spiritually you yeah. can't always rely on the pastor to do that like yeah. i mean i think that's a big part of it but you can learn a lot from women's bible study mm -hmm. learning from other women learning from others men's testimonies you know and even the people in your life group you know so ask yourself or look at to see if your church offers those things if that's something that you want um because that can be a really big factor in Definitely. if you decide to have that be your church home or not yeah. i know for us that's something that we do want yeah especially looking for a church home now um the church that we were comfortable in it seemed as if they didn't really have a lot of those communities like base you know mm -hmm. it was more just you know come to church, church day, go home go home yeah you know? but yeah we're, we were looking for a little something a little bit more a little bit know? more yeah and I, I don't want i don't want us to like do this video and people be like think we're bashing some, oh no we're not we're not bashing we're just we're just speaking on yeah what we want yeah what, what we, we want what and we expect that of our church home and i've always thought this i always like you know what finding a church home you can be like low-key selfish you know mm -hmm. like if you're not getting what you need out of that church like feel free to like move on right. and don't think you're obligated to stay because oh i'm doing this or i'm doing that or the pastor need me to pass it when you start doing that I feel like you're getting into some rocky ground. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. You become, 
it become more it become less about God and more about the facility. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to get stuck into that. Yeah, you know? no, you don't. You want to get more you want to get make sure you're getting what you need yeah. from the Lord, you know. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. I hope so. I hope so too. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, a few weeks ago, uh I took a poll, I should say, from my coworkers. We were having some orientation. I was like, "You know what, guys? Me and Chris were doing this we're going to be doing this video soon for YouTube and we just want to get some of your feedback. Mm -hmm. So we asked them, "What are some things you look for in a church home? Like what makes you commit to where you are now in your church, you know?" So I just want to bring up some of their ideas, some things that they brought up because I think they were really, really good. Yeah. So, um, one, a couple of them said a big thing for them was community, mm -hmm. like feeling like they're not alone, you not know, just a number. not, not just a number. Mm -hmm. So kind of like what we talked about being able to go to church and maybe like hang out with some people after church or, um, be able to belong to a small group or a group of people at church where although their church is really, really big, it doesn't feel so big because they have this group of people that they can call when it's not Sunday, you know, that they can hang out with outside of Sunday. And that's really, really important. Building community, having other believers that you can call on when things get kind of rocky or when you're feeling kind of down, you know, you can call and ask for prayer. You don't always have to call the pastor or call the church, you know, Hey, pray for me, but you can ca call on your sisters and brothers at church. Yeah. You know, I know one of the things you brought up was one of your coworkers saying that, um, a big deal for her would be the youth ministry. Mm, yes. Uh, for those, for those of you who do have um, young kids, even younger daughters or, or teenagers, mm -hmm. rather, um, youth ministry is very important. For yeah. one, because the way I see it, um, um, it's like the church. If they have, a, if, if they have a thriving youth ministry. You have a thriving church. They have a thriving church. A lot, you know? a living church. Yeah. <laughs> this is a a new generation that's coming up after the old one, you know, yeah. time has come. Mm -hmm. So, um, you want to go to, you want to find a church who's investing in the youth. Yes, you know? that is so important. And yeah. I, one thing I love about the church we've been going to is that they have it, like they, they invest in the youth, like no, like a church I've never seen before. And to honestly, that's really attractive because I love children, you know, and eventually I want to serve in the youth, in the youth ministry. Yeah. So having a solid youth ministry is important. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I know it's important to parents yeah, to have a, a solid youth ministry. Definitely. Um, you got to know that there is no perfect church. Okay. Mm. Every church has their flaws and you know, of course we would love to have this church where everything is perfect and whatever, whatever, but there's just simply no perfect church. And if you go into a church thinking, Oh, this is, this checks all my boxes off and this does is that, and then you run into some conflict, you know, you may be like, wait a minute. This is not what I expected and you may be trying to lead a church, you know, but I, you got to understand there's no perfect church. Now, if the church is like real, like jacked up, like doing too much or I don't even want to give examples, but yeah. you know, okay, <laughs> then you may have to ask God and reconsider. But you know, if God has called you to that church, just know that there's no perfect church and every church has its flaws, you know? Yeah. I think you covered that good, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to rebuttal, but yeah, that's the key that's, thing. That's just it. knowing that, you know, there's no perfect church. No perfect church, know? yeah. And so and when you come into short. a church with those type of expectations, that's when you get hurt. Yeah. You know, church hurt is real. Yeah. I have some serious church hurt. And I don't know, you got church hurt? Probably. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. This is something we gotta talk about off right. camera. <laughs> you want to make sure that you are called to this church home, mm -hmm. and by doing so, you want to make sure that you're praying, that you're fasting, that you're doing everything it takes before you join the church. Mm -hmm. That before you make this your home, you want to make sure that these are the things that you are doing. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. 
And I kind of feel like that's where we at right now. Yeah. 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 We kind of at step, what is this, four. <laughs> where we feel like we found the place, but we're like, okay, Lord, like, is this it? Like, is this where we need to lay our roots down at, you know? Is this where we need to uh, stay connected, you know? So that's kind of where we're at right now. And um, a little sample prayer could just be like, Lord, you know, let me know if this is where you want me to be, if this is where you want me to lay my roots, if this is where you have called me to serve and to learn more about you. And, you know, just pray that prayer and listen, meditate fast. And, you know, I believe God will give you the answer. Finding a church home can take time, okay? Some people, you may find the first church you walk into when you move here, it might be it for you. But for others, you know, it may take time. And we don't want you to get discouraged if you've gone to six churches and you still haven't found the one yet. You know, be open to visiting other churches until you find that one that's just right for you. So I think that's it. You got anything else? Nah, that's it. That's all I got. Okay, that's all we got. So y'all, again, thank you guys so much for rocking with us, hanging out with us. If you have any more tips that you want to share, put them in the comment section so comment that below. you can share or have a testimony. You can share with our little community here on YouTube. So yeah, we don't have a name for you. We don't have a name for you. Yeah. We don't. It's we been like three years. We don't have a good name for y'all. No YouTube. And we still don't have we a name for y'all. Our family. Y'all our family. With the yeah. Family. Yeah, with the T family. So yeah. maybe we should maybe year four we should come up with a name for y'all. <laughs> so cool. Um but yeah that's all we got for you guys. Thank you guys so much. We love y'all and we will see y'all on the next one, right? Yeah. On the next one. Peace. Alright y'all peace.